welcome to How to Ride JTA. In this episode, we'll show you how to plan your trip. JTA offers a free trip planning option on its website, so let's get started. To begin, click on the Plan Your Trip icon on the home page. When the trip planner opens, you'll find two main sections, an interactive map to the right and your search options to the left. Let's start with the map. The map can be viewed two ways, either as a road map or with an aerial view. Just click the best option for you. You'll notice two different markers on the map. Red is for current transit stops, and the gray markers are landmarks like libraries, theaters, and other easily identifiable buildings, businesses, and locations. Any of the markers, red or gray, can be used as your origin or destination for your trip. Just move your cursor over the marker and click on your choice. Your selection will then populate in the search function to the left. The map is very adjustable. You can move it in any direction, either with your cursor or using the arrow buttons on the screen. You can also reduce or enlarge the size of the map with the on-screen buttons or with your mouse provided you have a roller button. Now let's move to the search window and look at your other options for setting your origin. The search windows allow you to use a drop-down menu to make your origin or destination choice. Choose by landmark, stop, intersection, or address. You can use different functions for both your origin and your destination. If you've used the trip planner before, then you can also use the recent button to pull up previously selected choices. You'll notice no matter what option you choose, the city will default to Jacksonville. Just use the drop down menu if you need another location. So let's plan a trip using both the map and the search windows. I'm going to select the location on the map here in Riverside at Riverside Avenue and Goodwin Street. This is outside the Publix and directly across from a large apartment complex. Then I want to go to FSCJ's Kent Campus. So for my destination, I'll use the menu. I'll pick Landmark, then Schools, and then I'll search for FSCJ's Kent Campus. There it is. Now I have to determine when I'm leaving. I want to depart around 12.30 in the afternoon, so I plug my time in and hit the green button that says Show My Trip Plan. And I see I have two options from which to choose. The R5 at 12.50 p.m. is the shortest route. It's only 12 minutes. But there's also another route on the west side 12 that leaves earlier and then drops me off at the campus entrance so the planner factors in the walking time. If I decide that maybe I want to try something earlier or later, all I do is click on one of these two buttons and the planner will give me alternatives for which to choose. The route is also displayed on the map so I can see exactly what route the bus will take. Below the routes, you can see it also tells me how much I will pay and below that, notes that could impact my route. Another feature of the trip planner is the timetable viewer. This allows you to look up any route in the JTA system, both inbound and outbound, and get a picture of the route map and the major time points along the route. Or if you wanted to know all the times at one particular stop, the planner can do that too. Well, there you have it, an overview of the JTA trip planner. We hope you found this tutorial useful. Be sure to check out all our videos on how to ride JTA.